Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk, where we dive into the latest innovations changing the way we interact with technology. Today, we're exploring a fascinating framework called StageHand, a new AI-powered tool designed for web automation. Now, if you've ever tried automated testing or web scraping, you know how complex and sometimes frustrating it can be. StageHand aims to simplify this process, making it more accessible for developers of all skill levels. So, what exactly is StageHand? Well, it's like a smart assistant for web automation, focusing on natural language instructions. Imagine being able to tell your computer, click the login button or find me red shoes, and it just does it. Sounds pretty cool, right? That's what StageHand does, using three main APIs, Act, Extract, and Observe. Now picture this, instead of writing lengthy scripts to navigate web pages, you just provide atomic instructions. Each instruction is specific, like act, click the login button. The framework then generates the underlying code it needs to execute that action. It's efficient because it breaks down tasks into manageable pieces. It reminds me of delegating small tasks to a team rather than overwhelming them with a massive project all at once. Pause for a moment to let that idea sink in. Another interesting feature of StageHand is its ability to suggest actions. With the observe method, you can get a list of possible actions based on the current web page's state. It's like having a tour guide who knows every little thing you can do at a museum. Pretty handy if you're exploring a complex site. Now let's talk a little about how you get started with StageHand. First off, you need to install the package, similar to setting up any new software. Then, you'll configure your model provider. Maybe you're familiar with OpenAI. StageHand uses that, along with other models, to enhance its capabilities. It's fascinating how developers can mix and match models based on their needs. It's like being a chef who chooses the best ingredients for a dish. Once you've got everything set up, you can create a StageHand instance. And here's the kicker. If you're running a browser locally, you can even install Playwright. Yes, that famous tool that many developers rave about for browser automation. By marrying StageHand with Playwright, you're basically combining two powerful forces in web automation. Now you might be wondering, how does this stack up against traditional tools? Well, StageHand focuses on reliability and simplicity. It allows you to break down complex tasks into smaller, more manageable actions. Think of it as being able to build a massive Lego structure by first convening just a few pieces rather than trying to connect the entire thing at once. Lego pieces clicking together. And the community aspect is intriguing too. StageHand is open source. That means developers from all over can contribute to its growth, tweaking and improving it as they go. There's also a community space for feedback and collaboration, which fosters a rich ecosystem around this tool. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the core takeaways from today's discussion. StageHand brings web automation into a more digestible realm, allowing developers to employ natural language commands. It promotes reliability through atomic actions, supports various models for flexibility, and thrives on community engagement. So, if you're looking to enhance your web automation skills or to simplify how you handle repetitive tasks on the internet, StageHand might just be the tool for you. As we end today's episode, I want to leave you with this thought. In a world where technology can feel daunting, tools like StageHand remind us that simplicity can be incredibly powerful. What's a repetitive task you wish you could automate? Think about it, and who knows? You might just be inspired to create something amazing. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Talk. Until next time.